Okay, let's take a look at exercise three. Uh, duplicate the artboard and unite the paths. First off, I keep getting ahead of myself or behind myself. What I need to do is show you another way of, of uh, aligning. And so I'll go up here and create a rectangle and by dragging, clicking and dragging down here. Um, let's go ahead and make this green. Um, I'm going to go ahead and choose green here. Bring this down there to a nice dark green. So, and click OK. So I've got a, a nice green. Um, if I grab my selection arrow and select this, the, you'll notice that uh, I have these uh, boxes in in the middle, in the center of those, whatever. So. I can actually see that the center of this box, the center of this white space, now green space, is here at, uh, at this point. And so I can drop uh, an alignment uh, line. I'll take this uh, rectangle and I want to send it to the back. I'm going to go to Object, Arrange, Send to Back, or Send, yeah, Send to Back. And it'll slide all the way to the back, to the bottom of my list, leaving those two groups that I created uh, up, uh, up above. So let's go on with the rest of exercise three, um, where we're going to actually create uh, another artboard. Uh, this can be very beneficial in the future. What I want to do is I want to create, make this a little bit smaller. So I'm going to hold down. Uh, the command button and tap the minus key to shrink the view of, of my artboard. Then I'm going to go ahead and grab down here and slide this over to the side so I can see a little bit more. Then what I really want to do is I want to uh, use the artboard tool. Right down here is the artboard tool. The shift plus O, we're just going to click on it and our space changes. Uh, we get this sort of a darker field, and then sort of a, looks like it's highlight here with this marching ants uh, selection or marquee. Uh, and it says O1, that O, that gray O1 means uh, that we have, this is our O1 artboard. Uh, and what we want to do is we want to uh, make a duplicate of, of this. So what we can do is uh, we're going to hold down the option key on my keyboard, and you'll see that my cursor uh, changes to that familiar duplicate arrow thing. I'm going to click down on my mouse and drag over to the side uh, until I'm completely off of the, the other artboard. Then I'm going to release my, uh, my mouse. And you'll notice what I have here. It says 01 and 02. So I have, now I have two separate uh, artboards. Uh, if you're trying to print, these artboards will print separately on separate pages. Uh, so that's uh, a nice little thing to take a quick look at. Uh, what I want to do next is I want to select two paths and unite them. So to do that, I'm going to use my Pathfinder uh, tool. First off, let's go ahead and get off of this artboard view. I realized that the instructions ask, ask you to um, name uh, the artboard, but we're not going to do that in this particular version of uh, Adobe Illustrator. What I'm going to do next is get off of the artboard tool, and go back to the selection tool, and we're back in our usual view. Uh, for the moment, I'm going to get rid of one of these, uh, the, the green background. And what I want to do is I want to take these two separate space pieces and, and make them one. So I've already grouped them, and so they're selected together. Uh, but what I'm going to go over here is I'm going to go to Unite and click on Unite. If you don't have the Pathfinder uh, window up, you can go to Window, come down here to Pathfinder, and turn it on. Right now, mine is on, and this is what the Pathfinder tool looks like. I'm going to click this tool, 
And you'll notice right here that both uh, those separate shapes became one. And let's see, that's, that's that. And you'll also notice over here, this is my selected object, the layer. It's a single path and no longer a group of two separate paths. I'm gonna go ahead and select this. And so I'm selecting this group. And in this group, there's a whole bunch of separate paths. But if I have this selected, then I go over on my Pathfinder tool to the, the shape mode of Unite. It will bring those all together. And now, instead of having a Oops, I selected the, the wrong. Instead of selecting, instead of having a group with a whole bunch of uh, separate objects, separate paths, I now have this, which is a single shape. Um, let's go ahead and zoom in to that to see it a little closer. You can see that it's not, it's a single outline. A single outline. Very good.